excerpt was taken from the Warrant Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich interview with producer Bo Hill. You can listen to the entire interview at fullandbloom.com. Were you dating Fiona? Yeah. Holy crap. She's my first wife. Oh my God, I had no idea. Wow. You gotta do your homework, brother. God, no kidding. Holy <laughs> shit. I knew you had uh, produced, but then I looked online. I saw like a picture, and it, you guys were walking next to each other. I was like, boy, it sure does, sure does look like they were dating. Man, she was gorgeous. Holy crap. Yeah. And um. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I was okay. just seeing if you had anything else to say about that. This is the first time I've ever stumped you. She was just phenomenal. How long were you guys married? We were together 10 years. Did you ever have kids together? No. Okay. And so during all that I'm, time that I, you're cutting those, go ahead. Sorry. We were together 10 years, but we were only married for one. Should have never gotten married. That's what did it, huh? Well, it was many, many factors, but no, we, we still are, uh, stay in touch, you know, birthdays and Christmas and every now and then she'll send me some pictures now she got remarried and she has two kids one I think is now going to Princeton amazing that's what happens when the clock keeps ticking <laughs> <laughs> so you're actually dating her the entire time you're cutting those Fiona records in the 80s yeah uh, yeah are you dating like in the very first time you work with her or is it one of those romance stories where you date her on the first record the way that we met was uh, one of the our guys at Atlantic, Jason Flom, had a song that I had written called Talk to Me. And Jason was Fiona's A&R guy. And he played her the song and she loved it. So that was her first single on her first record, which I did not do. And because of the perceived success of that single, and I was, you know, I'd already been a uh, platinum producer at that point, um, Doug said, hey, why don't you do Fiona? And so... The first record we did was completely professional. There was no interaction at all. And then when we delivered the record that day, that night, I asked her if she'd join me for dinner. And then you and start dating from that point on? Yeah. Lucky you, man. She was probably one of the finest from that era. What is she doing nowadays? She lives in someplace in mid-New Jersey, Patterson, I think, or something like that. And she's a mom. I don't think she's doing anything professionally anymore. I could be wrong. Don't 